Guys, this is Samia from Bookfeast channel. Today in this video, we are going to see on the topic I can't climb trees anymore, which is written by Ruskin Bond. So before getting into the work, we want to know about the writer's introduction. So we'll start from that. Ruskin Bond was born on 19 May 1934. He's an award-winning Indian author of uh, British descent and is much renounced for his good luck, for his way of writing and for promoting children's literature in India. He has been awarded Sakit Academy Award in 1992, Batma Shri in 1999 and Batma Bhushan in 2014. And he has written over 500 short stories, essays and novels. One of his popular novel, The Blue Umbrella, has been made into a Hindi film and it was also awarded the National Film Award for the Best Children's Film in 2007. When you deal with the characters, there are two characters which are very main, that is the writer himself. He never mentions that it is he himself for his own experience. Instead, he has written, uh, he, he has mentioned the word as a narrator and second, a little girl who is about in her 12 or 13. And she talks about her parents where her father is a colonel and he is the owner. And the writer, that is the narrator, talks about his grandmother and grandfather. We'll get into the story. So he stood on the grass verge by the side of the road and looked over the garden wall at the old house. So there was a man who was standing near the wall and he's looking at the old wall of the garden house. And he's uh, admiring something essence in it. When he sees the jackfruit tree, he comes up with all his previous experience. He experience about his past again. He goes back to the flashback. And there stands a girl between the helicopter tree that is Halicox plant and she started raising question what are you looking at so what are you doing here what are you doing so she looks like a girl in her uh, 12 or 13 with uh, li lively eyes and long black hair and the man answers that I'm looking at the house is it yours so I am just having a glance at this home is this home belongs to you she says no no it belongs to my father not to me and why do you ask it so why do you want to ask it from us? So who are you? Again the man questions, so what's your father? So what's your father doing? The girl answers that her father is a colonel and he's the owner of the home. And he makes a comedy. The narrator Maya makes a comedy. Well, he should have been a brigadier by now. So brigadier refers to the high post than the colonel. So he must have been a brigadier. Still he is just a colonel. And the girl says that my mother used to say it often. So again she comes up with the line, do you want to buy this home? The man says, no, no, I don't want to buy it. The girl again answers, you want to buy it, but you, but you don't have money, right? She started questioning. And the man says that, no, I have been spending my boyhood and my young age in this home for 25 years. Once my grandmother was passed away, I have sold. we have sold it and we went away. The girl, she was very silent in asking all these and she wanted to express no more where she wants to gather the information from the person. And the narrator asked, uh, asked the girl, so how long have you lived in it? So how long have you been living in it? The girl answers only for three years. And uh, the girl invites the man to get in where he says that do your parents mind. So will your parents scold you? And the girl says, no, I have given permission to take my friends, even elderly friends to the home and my mother, she has gone to the club, my father too, so they will not mind you, you can get in. And the man, he jumps the wall and he comes inside where he was also helped by the girl. When he gets in, he sits in a bench and he starts dreaming about, by closing his eyes, he starts dreaming about the piano music and shimming of his grandfather clock and all the things came to his mind like a flashback. And he says that I used to climb the jackfruit tree. So I used to climb the jackfruit tree at once. And the girl says, do you want to climb it again? You can of course do it. My parents will not scold you. So again the girl says, my parents don't mind you. So you can uh, climb on the tree. No, I'm very much old so I can't climb the tree. But I'm just expressing that there is a halo in the jackfruit tree. So he says there is a halo in the jackfruit tree where he keeps all his treasure hidden. The girl asks, what kind of treasure? So what are the treasure do you keep? The man says he used to keep uh, marbles and uh, 
books that he could not read or books that were restricted for him to read and he collects coins especially out of all he uh, keeps his grandfather's iron cross that was exactly offered to him by the british and uh, for the reason because uh, it is a german dictorian award for bravery during the war and it was offered during the first world war to his grandfather and the girl questions do you still have it to so still is it in the hello of the tree the man says i don't know but i have to have a look the girl she runs there and she comes up with the iron cross and she shows that to the man where he is very much happy while holding it and he, uh, the girl questions so is that what you have come here for the man answers no no i haven't come for this but actually i came here for my youth where he says it wasn't a cross i came for it was my youth so he came for his uh, youthful spirit and it is not for the cross and the girl she was uh, she couldn't understand what the man is talking about and the man gives the iron cross to the girl to own it where the girl questions why should i own it it is not belong it doesn't belong to me the man says if you had not climbed the tree and taken it for the next 25 years it will be there so please have it with you and the man he is accompanied by the girl up to the gate and uh, at the gate he takes a leave and he goes to the bus stand while travelling there he is having a essence of his youthness the mango scented summer breeze made the blood coarse in his vein and he forgot for a moment that he couldn't climb trees any more so the summer breeze and the mango scented gave him the essence of his youthfulness so it uh, he want he actually came here for uh, getting up his youthful spirit and it has been fulfilled and he goes from the place so here i conclude my video and once again i tell you if you want this particular post to being in tamil we have uploaded it in the description you can find it in the uh, link you can find the link in the description if you are not a subscriber please do subscribe our channel to get further more updates thank you